Welcome to the immigration quiz. In this quiz, we will explore questions and answers for the U.S. Citizenship Civic Test interview. We wish you good luck. You are required to provide an answer before the countdown on the timer ends. What is the supreme law of the land? Option A, the President's Decree. Or Option B, the Declaration of Independence. Or Option C, the Constitution. And the correct answer is Option C, the Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Option A, establishes local governments. Option B, sets up the government. Or Option C, declares war. The correct answer is option B sets up the government. The idea of self government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? Option A We the people. Option B In God we trust. And option C Liberty and Justice And the correct answer is Option A We the people What is an amendment? A a law passed by Congress, B, a change to the Constitution, or C, a declaration by the President. And the correct answer is option B, a change to the Constitution. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? Option A, the Bill of Rights. Option B, the Federalist Papers. Or Option C, the Preamble. And the correct answer is option A, the Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Option A, right to bear arms. B, freedom of speech. Or option C, right to vote. And the correct answer is option B, freedom of speech. How many amendments does the Constitution have? A, 23, option B, 27, or option C, 31. And the correct answer is option B, 27. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Option A, announce our independence from France. Option B, 
created the United States Constitution, or option C, announced our independence from Great Britain. And the correct answer is, option C, announced our independence from Great Britain. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Option A, life and right to own property. Option B, life and pursuit of happiness. Or option C, freedom of speech and religion. And the correct answer is option B, life and pursuit of happiness. What is freedom of religion? Option A, you must choose a religion. Option B, you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Option C, only certain religions are allowed. And the correct answer is, option B, you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who is the father of our country? Option A, Benjamin Franklin. Option B, Thomas Jefferson. Or option C, George Washington. And the correct answer is option C, George Washington. What is the economic system in the United States? Option A, socialist economy. Option B, command economy. Or option C, capitalist or market economy. And the correct answer is option C, capitalist or market economy. What is the name of the national anthem? Option A, America the Beautiful. Option B, the Star Spangled Banner. Or option C, God Bless America. And the correct answer is option B, the Star Spangled Banner. How many U.S. Senators are there? Option A, 50. Option B, 100. Option C, 435. And the correct answer is option B, 100. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? A, 4 years, option B, 6 years, or option C, 2 years. And the correct answer is option B, six years. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? A, only the people in their district. Option B, only the people of their political party. Or option C, all people of the state.
And the correct answer is option C, all people of the state. Who vetoes bills? Option A, the vice president. Option B, the Supreme Court. Or option C, the president. And the correct answer is option C, the president. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Option A, Democratic and Green. Option B, Republican and Libertarian. Or option C, Democratic and Republican. And the correct answer is option C, Democratic and Republican. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Option A, 16. Option B, 18. Or option C, 21. And the correct answer is option B, 18. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Option A, George Washington. Option B, Thomas Jefferson. Or option C, John Adams. And the correct answer is B. Thomas Jefferson. What is the highest court in the United States? Option A. The Court of Appeals. Option B. The Supreme Court. Or Option C. The Federal District Court. And the correct answer is option B, the Supreme Court. Who is the commander in chief of the military? Option A, the Secretary of Defense. Option B, the Vice President. Or option C, the President. And the correct answer is option C, the president. Which document announced the end of slavery in the United States? Option A, the Declaration of Independence. Option B, the Emancipation Proclamation. Or option C, the Bill of Rights. And the correct answer is option B, the Emancipation Proclamation. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Option A, women's suffrage. Option B, civil rights movement. Or option C, prohibition movement.
And the correct answer is option B, civil rights movement. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? Option A, Franklin Roosevelt. Option B, Woodrow Wilson. Or option C, Harry Truman. And the correct answer is option A, Franklin Roosevelt. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Option A, Atlantic Ocean. Option B, Indian Ocean. Or option C, Pacific Ocean. And the correct answer is option C, Pacific Ocean. What is the capital of the United States? Option A, New York City. Option B, Washington DC. Or option C, Los Angeles. And the correct answer is option B, Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Option A, Boston. Option B, San Francisco. Or option C, New York Harbor. And the correct answer is option C, New York Harbor. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Option A, for the 13 original colonies. Option B, for the 13 presidents. Or option C, for the 13 amendments. And the correct answer is option A for the 13 original colonies. Who makes federal laws? Option A, the president. Option B, Congress. Or option C, the Supreme Court. And the correct answer is option B, Congress. What are the two parts of the United States Congress? Option A, the Senate and the Courts. Option B, the House of Representatives and the Senate. Or option C, the Supreme Court and the House of Representatives. And the correct answer is option B, the House of Representatives and the Senate. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Option A, 9. Option B, 12. Or option C, 
15. And the correct answer is option A, 9. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Option A, to issue driver's license. Option B, to declare war. Or option C, to provide schooling and education. And the correct answer is option B, to declare war. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Option A, to create an army. Option B, to print money or option C to provide schooling and education and the correct answer is option C to provide schooling and education What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Option A. Pay taxes. Option B. Obey the law. Or option C. Serve on a jury. And the correct answer is option C, serve on a jury. What did the U.S. Constitution replace? Option A, the Emancipation Proclamation. Option B, the Articles of Confederation. Or option C, the Magna Carta. And the correct answer is option B, the Articles of Confederation. What is one right reserved for United States citizens? Option A, freedom to petition the government. Option B, right to run for federal office. Or option C, freedom of speech. And the correct answer is option B, right to run for federal office. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Option A, to obey the laws of other countries. Option B, to give up loyalty to other countries. Or option C, to attend school until age 18. And the correct answer is option B, to give up loyalty to other countries. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Option A, the French. Option B, indigenous people. 
or option C, the Spanish. Correct answer is option B, indigenous people. Who is the current president of the United States? Since this answer is subject to change, please enter your response in the comments and we will reply with validation. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Option A. Europeans Option B. Asians or Option C. Africans And the correct answer is Option C, Africans. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Option A, Alaska. Option B, Louisiana. Or option C, Florida. And the correct answer is option B, Louisiana. Name one war fought by United States in the 1800s. A, World War I, B, the Civil War, or C, the Korean War. And the correct answer is B, the Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Option A, the Revolutionary War. Option B, the Civil War. Or option C, the Vietnam War. And the correct answer is option B, the Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Option A, immigration. Option B, slavery. Or option C, taxes. And the correct answer is option B, slavery. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Option A, founded the United Nations. Option B, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Or option C, invented the light bulb. And the correct answer is option B, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Option A, fought for women's rights. Option B, 
invented the first airplane? Or option C, signed the Declaration of Independence? And the correct answer is option A, fought for women's rights. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Since this answer is subject to change, please enter your response in the comments and we will reply with validation. What is the political party of the president now? Since this answer is subject to change, please enter your response in the comments and we will reply with validation. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Option A, the Civil War. Option B, the Vietnam War. Or Option C, the American Revolutionary War. And the correct answer is option B, the Vietnam War. Who was president during World War I? Option A, Theodore Roosevelt. Option B, Woodrow Wilson. Or option C, Franklin D. Roosevelt. And the correct answer is option B, Woodrow Wilson. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Option A, terrorism. Option B, communism. Or option C, imperialism. And the correct answer is option B, communism. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Option A, the end of the Vietnam War. Option B, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Or option C, terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. And the correct answer is option C, terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Option A, Maori. Option B, Zulu. Option C, Cherokee.
And the correct answer is option C, Cherokee. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Option A, Pacific Ocean. Option B, Indian Ocean. Or option C, Atlantic Ocean. And the correct answer is option C, Atlantic Ocean. Name one branch or part of the government. Option A, Congress. Option B, the United Nations. Or option C, the Department of Education. And the correct answer is option A, Congress. Who signs bills to become laws? Option A, the Vice President. Option B, the Supreme Court. Or option C, the President. And the correct answer is option C, the president. Who is the governor of your state now? Since this answer is subject to change, please enter your response in the comments. And we will reply with validation. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Option A, the President. Option B, the United Nations. Or Option C, the United States. And the correct answer is... Option C, the United States. There are four amendments of the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Option A, only men can vote. Option B, citizens 18 and older can vote. Or option C, only property owners can vote. And the correct answer is option B, citizens 18 and older can vote. When must all men register for the selective service? Option A, at age 16. Option B, between 18 and 26. Or option C, when they become citizens. And the correct answer is option B, between 18 and 26. What is one reason colonists came to America? Option A, for the gold rush. Option B, religious freedom. Or option C, to join the British Empire.
And the correct answer is option B, religious freedom. Who wrote the Federalist Papers? Option A, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Option B, Alexander Hamilton, James Madison and John Jay. Or option C, Benjamin Franklin and John Adams. And the correct answer is option B, Alexander Hamilton, James Madison and John Jay. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? Option A. The Declaration of Independence was written. Option B. The Constitution was written. Or Option C. The Civil War ended. And the correct answer is Option B. The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? Option A. 1776. Option B. 1787. Or Option C. 1791. And the correct answer is option B, 1787. Who was the first president? Option A, Abraham Lincoln. Option B, Thomas Jefferson. Option C, George Washington. And the correct answer is option C, George Washington. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Option A, gave women the right to vote. Option B, freed the slaves. Or option C, made English the official language. And the correct answer is option B, freed the slaves. What did the women's suffrage movement do? Option A, fought for women's right to work. Option B, fought for women's right to vote. Or option C, fought for women's educational rights. And the correct answer is option B, fought for women's right to vote. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Since this answer is subject to change, please enter your response in the comments and we will reply with validation. did the United States fight in World War II? A. The Soviet Union, Germany and Italy. Option B. Japan, Germany and Italy. Or Option C. France, Japan and Germany.
And the correct answer is option B, Japan, Germany and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Option A, World War I. Option B, World War II. Or option C, the Korean War. And the correct answer is option B, World War II. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Option A, Colorado River. Option B, Mississippi River. Or option C, Rio Grande. And the correct answer is option B, Mississippi River. What is the rule of law? Option A, only the president must follow the law. Option B, government does not have to follow the law. Or option C, everyone must follow the law. And the correct answer is option C. Everyone must follow the law. Who is the current Chief Justice of the United States as of April 2023? Option A. Sonia Sotomayor. Option B. John Roberts. Or option C. Clarence Thomas. And the correct answer is option B, John Roberts. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Option A, the president. Option B, checks and balances. Or option C, the people. And the correct answer is option B, checks and balances. Who is in charge of the executive branch? Option A, the Speaker of the House. Option B, the Chief Justice. Or option C, the President. And the correct answer is option C, the president. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Since this answer is subject to change, please enter your response in the comments and we will reply with validation. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Option A, due to the state's location. Option B, based on the state's population. Or option C, 
depending on the age of the state. And the correct answer is option B, based on the state's population. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Option A, 2. Option B, 4. Or option C, 6. And the correct answer is option A, 2. Who does the President's Cabinet work for? Option A, the Supreme Court. Option B, Congress. Or option C, the President. And the correct answer is option C, the president. What does the president's cabinet do? A. Makes laws. B. Advises the president. Or option C. Controls the economy. And the correct answer is B. Advises the President. What are the two cabinet level positions? Option A. Secretary of Agriculture and Secretary of History. Option B. Secretary of State and Secretary of Education. Or Option C. Secretary of Weather and Secretary of Cities. And the correct answer is Option B. Secretary of the State and Secretary of Education. What does the judicial branch do? Option A. Executes laws. Option B. Reviews laws. Or option C. Creates laws. And the correct answer is... Option B. Reviews laws. Name one U.S. territory. Option A. Cuba. Option B. Puerto Rico. Or option C. Mexico. And the correct answer is Puerto Rico. Name one state that borders Canada. Option A, Florida. Option B, Texas. Or option C, New York. And the correct answer is option C, New York. Name one state that borders Mexico. Option A, Alabama. Option B, California. Or option C, Oregon.
And the correct answer is option B, California. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Option A, one for each president. Option B, one for each continent. Or option C, one for each state. And the correct answer is option C, one for each state. When do we celebrate Independence Day? Option A, January 1st. Option B, July 4th. Or option C, December 25th. And the correct answer is option B, July 4th. Name two national U.S. holidays. Option A, Easter and Halloween. Option B, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Or option C, Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. And the correct answer is option B, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Name three of the 13 original states. Please enter your response in the comments and we will reply with validation. Name one power of the federal government. Option A, to declare war. Option B, to make treaties. Or option C, all of the above. And the correct answer is option C, all of the above. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more quizzes and the latest news on immigration. Stay curious and informed until our next quiz. Are you an IT consultant seeking a new opportunity? We offer job placement services for U.S. citizens, green cards, EADs, and visa holders. We also sponsor various work visas like H-1B, E3, TN, and green cards. 20-plus years of experience in the industry. Exceptional employee benefits. Highly rated by our employees. Global presence with 200-plus recruiters and direct clients. Connect with us. Call us on the number 833-412-8472 or mail us at support at higheritpeople.com or visit our website www.higheritpeople.com.